Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're doing well and uh, if you are new here, my name is Joe and I'll be doing your reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. Okay, please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. The best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and well, that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the other readings I've done for your sign. But uh, Scorpio, more than anything, check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. Then you can check out some of the readings that I've done for those specific signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you. It usually means that your messages are probably coming stronger from those placements. Sometimes that happens. It all depends on your current life path or current journey. Okay. Last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support the channel. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate it very much. All right, Scorpio. Okay, one more. Scorpio, you have the King of Wands as the starting energy of your reading or the current energy that you're dealing with, okay, or the heart of the matter. And well, this, this is divine masculine fire energy, it doesn't matter what gender you are, okay, but this is about, well, this is a very action-oriented energy, someone who finally goes at, after things, takes this final decision and does, does something about it, you know, he takes action, okay. And I think maybe you're meant to be, you're meant to do something like this. You're meant to stand up and go after something that is what it is that you're meant to do for some reason. Okay, let's 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 continue and we'll figure out what's going on here. The energy that's crossing you could be a challenge or a block, which is the Queen of Cups. Okay, now this divine feminine water energy. And okay. Now I see what's happening here. I get two things here. I'm going to try to keep it as... One is... Uh, I think you're having a hard time addressing something within yourself at an emotional level. Okay? Um, might be something maybe you need to heal or maybe you just have to address something maybe you have to face your own emotions or maybe you have to it's about you asking yourself what would make you emotionally happy or fulfilled okay maybe something you have to do that would make you happy and maybe you're meant to do this but you haven't done this yet okay now I don't know about the love department but uh, I think that maybe some of you and it doesn't matter whether you're male or female I think you are meant to go after someone if you really are interested in them okay but I'm not really quite sure about this okay it could be I think some, also some of you are just meant to go after something that emotionally fulfills you and you're not being true to yourself about this thing what it is or whatever 
or who it is. Let's just, let's start, let's see, okay? Wow. The energy that's crowning you in your conscious mind, you are aware of this. You're constantly thinking about it. Could be a desire, could be a dream, I don't know. Lovers, Gemini energy. I think you feel that you are meant to be coming to union with this, whatever it is that you're thinking of, or whoever it is. You, some of you feel it. It's a very strong attraction. It's a really rare energy that I pick up sometimes on my readings, but you're meant to come into union with, with divine union with something or someone here. Okay. Whether I'm going to try to focus more on you. Okay. You are not uh, being true to yourself at an emotional level. You're not addressing your emotions the way you should. Okay. But you're meant to go after something here, and you know that this could be your perfect match, your soulmate, whatever it is, your dream job, okay? You can feel it. The attraction is just, and it could be even mutual. And maybe you know that too, if that is the case. You're meant to go after this. It's not going to come on its own. You have to put your part here. The energy that's below you, your subconscious mind. You're not aware of this and you should. And they would like you to focus more on this. Death card, Scorpio energy. Okay. This just by simply being your major, well, one of your major economists is about you stepping into your power, you know, but this is also about allowing things to maybe flow the way they're meant to. It's allow some type of transformation to happen. Maybe there's something you need to change within yourself. Maybe there's something you need to put an end to so that you can some, some type of ending that you have to to bring on some, some type of ending or transformation so that you can go after this, have this union. This Queen of Cups, you're blocking your emotions. You're not paying attention to your emotions for some reason. Why? The energy behind you, oh. the energy behind you, recent past, what you're leaving, should be leaving behind, or the reason why you're going through this, is the devil, Capricorn energy. So there was something you were bounded to. You're meant to break free from something. You want to leave a situation that is not fulfilling for you anymore. And you want to go to something more divinely meant for you, okay? You see how identical they are, right? Both have a Archangel and the Divine Masculine Feminine Energies, which could be a representation of Adam and Eve. But, uh, you're meant to set yourself free. You're meant to leave this behind. You want this, right? Something more divinely meant for you. And you're to do this, you're meant to take action. Okay, Scorpio, you're going to have to step. Some of you might have a lot of fire in charge, but you're meant to embody this energy, whether you have fire in your charge or not. Okay. You're meant to embody this energy and just do something about this. 
This is what they're telling you. You're the one who can create these changes and put an end to something so you can have a new beginning. And you are meant to address your emotions, to fulfill yourself, to ask yourself what it is that would make you truly happy. Okay? But you're not, yeah, you're meant to break free. You're meant to leave this toxic world, this environment, this dark environment behind. I think you have come to the realization of something. You have become aware of something. That you are not in the right place, situation. It's not meant for you. You're not meant to be here. You're meant to be somewhere else. And that's what that's why we have lovers crowning you. That's why you're constantly thinking about this. So yeah, here you 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 have to do something about this. Only you can do it. Okay, the energy in front of you, where you're headed to, what's coming towards you in your future for some of you is the Nine of Cups. Finally, doing something for yourself. This is putting yourself in first place, this is making yourself a priority. This is you addressing your emotions. And I like this because it's what you're meant to do. You're meant to put yourself first. Whatever you're going to do, you're going to do it for you. Nice. I think you're going to be true to yourself and to your emotions, to what you feel, to what you want and what you desire. That's that lover is crowning you. This is what you desire. Make sure that it is what you want and make sure that it will make you happy. This is a representation of you in this reading or how you should see or how you should see yourself or respond to this Ace of Pentacles. It's Going after that new beginning, a stable new beginning, a fresh new start. Another opportunity, could it be? Okay. You're trying to manifest a new beginning. Solid and very promising. I hear another opportunity mostly for some of you. You're trading something. You're leaving something behind. You're sacrificing something. I wouldn't really say sacrificing, but you are leaving something behind. It's toxic. It's not good for you. I think you know that. Because you are focusing more on this lover's energy. This is the energy that's surrounding. It's influencing. It's inspiring. Beautiful. It's the ease of cups. You're doing this because you are making yourself a priority. Self-love, self-support, divine love, divine support. I think divine is helping you. But you're meant to address your emotions, please. Okay? If you do that, we've got the ace plus the nine of cups. Then we get the ten of cups. That's your wish fulfillment. Your ultimate wish fulfillment. You are operating at a high vibrational energy of self-love. And I think you are going to achieve what you want, what you are desiring because, because of this. But you have to you have to sit with yourself and do this inner work. It's something you have to do, okay? Maybe some type of forgiveness, some type of just understanding. I don't know. You will know better. In your hopes and fears, we have the six of wands. You're hoping to have victory, success, recognition, to be admired. Okay. But you just want this overall success. Like I said, I know you will have it because you are vibrating. You're operating in a high vibrational energy. Don't worry about being in the public eye or being recognized by others, at least for now. You need recognition. The best recognition is your own recognition. Okay? But I think you will have success. 
You're meant to transform something, even the deep within you. You're meant to put an end here to something and leave it behind. Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice, but I think it's both. It's a higher event. Taurus energy. You are being divinely supported. You are being guided. They want you to have faith and keep believing and have tr trust, trust, keep trusting. Okay? You've been given some type of sacred knowledge, but you are supported. You're being given this knowledge so that you can defeat this energy and then finally go after what you're meant to, divinely guided to, coming to you. It's beautiful. You're finally releasing something for something better. I think that's also what they're trying to tell you. It's because you went through some type of transformation within yourself. Could have been painful. It wasn't easy. Two of Cups. This is you coming to in with something that vibrates at your same frequency. You see how they're interchanging energy? You see how they can look at them, each other at the same eye level? That's the same frequency. That's frequency matching right there. Healing, okay? But yeah, you're meant to, to come to you with something here. Queen of Swords, don't overthink things. Be true to yourself and cut out whatever is not meant for you anymore. Okay? Don't overthink things. Yeah. Don't overthink things. It's not about making a decision. It's about now. It's the time. Stop holding yourself back. Don't let fear get the best of you. Be true to yourself. Okay? Okay, let's get additional messages, advice, warnings with this other deck. And we'll close the ring with the Dream Decoder. Best advice, warnings, messages, whatever I'm missing. What other messages do you have for Scorpio regarding this ring or situation? If something else you need to know, what would it be? They said to take that. What else you need to tell Scorpio, please? Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Scorpio, you have the two of wands on the bottom. That's about you putting yourself out there. You're meant to expand, you're meant to connect with something else out there. You stop staying in this building, in this castle, just staring from afar. Something that you're desiring, okay? You're meant to, 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 to put yourself out there. Beautiful. And now I know why they told me to take that one. I, I need the one that would, it's that. Let me separate the major arcanas and put them in the bottom. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, first of all, we have the Four of Pentacles, which is telling us that we should just let go of anything, not to hold on so tight, maybe. Maybe this, uh, Devil energy that you're bounded to. Um, I think you have to understand that there might be a sacrifice that you have to leave behind so that you can come into with this to this lover's energy or whatever is meant for you. 
Okay? You're being divinely guided to something. I need you to understand that. But I think there's a trade-off here. Okay? And do you let go of this because I think it's not doing you any good at an energetical level or your health or whatever. You're meant to let go of this so that you can have this new beginning. Okay? And we have the Ten of Cups. Okay? I told you, if you do this, if you think about yourself and you do this with pure love and you push, make yourself the priority, then you will have success and you will finally see some type of, you know, emotional fulfilling result. You're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to see the rainbow after the storm. Okay? This is your wish fulfillment. Your ultimate wish fulfillment. Stay strong. Be strong. Be confident. Have confidence. Okay? This is connected with this King of Wands. Okay? It's that fiery Leo. Well, it's... Cause he's got that fire, that lion in the back, which is mostly Leo. But it's just about being, oh, passionate. But be strong, stay strong, and have faith, okay? It's very important that you do that. And then strangely, I have more Leo energy. Some of you might have some Leo in your charts. Okay? But if not, it's just about using that fiery energy to go after your desires. This is that happiness, that fulfillment, that joy. Another opportunity for some of you. A new beginning. Okay? And last, we have, again, the lovers, which is just confirming it. You're meant to come into union with something, you know that. You know there's something better for you, if that is the case. But you know something is calling you. And you're meant to come into union with it. Okay. Let's close your reading with a dream decoder. Scorpio, um, remember that Whatever message or meaning of whatever the dream that pops out, whether you've had this dream or not, it doesn't matter. Just take the message as the best resonates for you. Don't try to force it. Sometimes they resonate with the reading. Sometimes they don't. But just take it as additional advice. I got social media. It says, online communication is an inescapable part of modern life. So it isn't surprising that many of us dream about Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or the like, or communicating via messenger apps. In general, these kinds of dreams suggest a desire to expand your online network, or to either reconnect with people from your past, or seek out new horizons. If you dream of changing your profile photo or page, this indicates that you want to control the way other people see you, or may already be doing so. If you find yourself scrolling aimlessly or being directed to the same web page repeatedly, perhaps you're spending too much time online. Gaining likes or new online followers may reflect the feeling that you're worthy of others' approval whereas losing friends or followers may indicate that you can't or won't conform to the expectations placed upon you by friends, family, or society. Okay? All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, that's the best I can do for you. I hope this message, I hope this reading helps you. I hope it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. Scorpio, as always, um, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy. 
and stay very blessed. Goodbye.